All right, YouTube. Uh, just give a little update this morning. It's Saturday morning, trying to get the day started. Uh, I want to give a little plug out here for for HFE Hooper Farms Equipment. I work for Hooper Farms. We also buy selling equipment. I told you that. Uh, this morning, I had to go to Milan. Had a had a customer bought uh, Steinbuyer Performance Modules. Uh, we sell them for just about anything gas diesel whatever doesn't matter just we are the dealer for this area your your arkansas your uh south missouri western tennessee north mississippi you know we're the dealer for sign buyer really good deal you know we have them on some of our own stuff had really good luck out of them uh, <clears throat> but i went up there he had two s680 combines he needed he needed a couple he wanted a little more power he's going to the 780s this is next year he's got them going on and he wants to know if those boxes will give him enough to go just go to 780 or if he needs to buy a 790 i think he's going to be fine me myself personally he's going to put it on there and he's going to realize a big difference and he won't have to spend the extra money to buy the 790 he can get the same power out of 780 that he's getting the 85 for the 790 same difference all cleaning capacity is the same on both of them anyway so it doesn't really matter but uh you know if you need equipment you know, we ship all over the world we put it in containers it don't matter man we get it here we can go anywhere with it we can get it to you if you want it we got it we'll get it to you it's just a little plug for for our business for performance equipment and uh, i'm gonna do a little deal right now i'm gonna walk over here to the shivers i don't know it's our dryer bin right there uh i don't know if anybody knows what it is and i don't know if you're going to be able to hear me as i kind of do my little morning walk around with it you may be able to you may not i don't know we're going to try see what happens if you can you can i'm going to try to point kind of what's going on in the meantime just to kind of let you know what what i'm doing and why i'm making the decisions so here we go we're going to walk over here to the control panel my other uh our other guy joe he got it going for me this morning uh kind of been training him a little bit about what's going on and how to run the thing or whatever he did a real good job this morning getting them going ran out of gas last night uh, on a propane that's not supposed to happen but he did uh okay i may have a little problem already and that's something so uh, what I got going on there? Let me do some cooking. This right here, this controls the deal that fell out of the top of the bin. This is what controls it. It controls it spinning around. One thing I look at on the shivers, you know, when we're running and we're putting corn in here, is this gauge right here. This is called a static pressure gauge. It's measuring the static pressure going up through the corn. As you see that big black mark right there on three, that's ideal. That's where you want it to run. That's where you're getting your most efficiency at. Runs real good right there. I usually push it up. It, it, you know, and I can put a lot of corn in there. I probably could put nine, ten thousand 10,000 bushels, say at 20% moisture. And with, with that 12 row head, like I said, pretty much lets me run all day. I get it up to about six. About six is where I call it quits, because anything after that, you're just wasting money. Just throwing it down the drain. Run it to about six, it runs efficient and if everything's running right like it's supposed to, I can dry it on down overnight and by the next morning it's ready to go. This is an auto shut off. I put it in auto at night. Once it gets here, it trips the lever, shuts the whole thing down. I crank it back in the morning and let it go again. 
This is the uh, control panel. You got the bypass, and that just keeps on running. It'll run all the way till it's out. Run it all day long in bypass. I don't run it in auto. I only stick it in auto at night. Uh, that's the long, kind of the long and the short of it. It only transfers at what I got it set to transfer at. And uh, the moisture right now is 16.5, the last reading it just took. And let's see, it's got 10 minutes, so it takes another sample. And my set transfer moisture, I put it over here to set transfer moisture. It's 16.3, that's what it wants to see. And when it sees, it takes a sample and it sees 16, and it sees that the moisture average is 16.3. This was the last one it takes was 16.6. But when it gets an average of 16.3, it cuts this cross off their own. I got it going in being number one, so it's gonna cut this one on. And it'll start transferring grain over into our holding tank. And that's where it'll sit. So that's pretty much about it. Uh, got the temperature there. The uh, actual temp's 181 degrees. Maximum temp for corn, you set it to 180. Now, as the corn gets dry and it doesn't need much heat, the uh, <coughs> the target temp will change. You can kind of see right here that first column. You see target right there, T TGT. It knows it needs to cool off a little bit. It don't have to burn as hot to get it get there. But, that's where it is. This right here is where I just ran fans on it all night. And if it did dry some of it down, which it don't look like it did, just fans alone, it would go ahead and transfer it out, but it did not. So it just is what it is because it didn't have the burners running. I didn't have the gas. But we're gonna walk over here to the burners and take a look at them and show you what it's doing. Right now, you see it's on low fire. It's just a low fire deal. It don't need all the heat. Now, when you get two lights right there, you go to high fire, you'll have some lights. And that's when it's burning it, it's max capacity that's what it'll do i'm gonna walk to the fans this is where it's kind of gonna get a little bit loud i uh, try to try to explain if not i'll just kind of point kind of what i'm looking at they have a vaporizer on there and that's what you're going to see me look at first you have to set the vaporizer on it you don't want it you don't want it too cold because it'll freeze up and you don't want it too hot because it'll reset so joe said all this this morning talking through it on the phone pretty simple to run you know i'm learning about a lot of it as i go i think we got it in 13 maybe somewhere around there maybe off a year or two and uh had a lot of help with the shivers people man good people they know their stuff on these deals uh really good but let's walk over here See, I only got one light right there. That means it's burning on low fire. So right here, you see, I gotta watch this temperature. Which on low fire, it's really okay. But you don't wanna see it over here in the red. No good. All right, we just swapped the high fire. I don't know if it's burning clean or not, but it's swapped the high fire. I got two lights. The camera's gotta do something funny there, but I got two lights. Now, two lights. I want this hose right here where I can grab a hole. It's about lukewarm. It's running real good. It looks good. So we got it set. Perfect. Hope it works there. about a if you're thinking about a shivers dryer system they're good systems their product support is absolutely wonderful especially if you got a dealer that'll stand behind shivers and they work to, they work well together man it's it, it's a great deal it works for us not only can you dry in it it will not dry as much as a continuous flow it won't do it period I mean there's no question but about it but I can store grain in this bin 
we get ready. I mean, most of you farmers know this time of year for this 18 season, our basis for soybeans with all this Trump stuff going on, it sucks. Well, guess what? I can put soybeans in there when I get ready to, and I can save them. You know, because these are going to probably be mostly full of corn. Paul says uh, we're going to save one of them for soybeans down there. The one on the end is going to be soybeans. We'll fill it up. I got corn in this one right now. It's dried corn, ready to go. But all right, that's uh, that's all for now. We'll uh, we'll catch you back later.